celebrate the coming together of two separate lives. We have come to witness the joining of this man, Brendan, and this woman, Liz, in marriage, and to celebrate with them the love that they have discovered in each other, and support them in the making of this important and everlasting commitment. The essence of this commitment is the taking of another person in his or her entirety as a lover, companion, and friend. It is therefore a decision which is not to be entered into lightly, but rather is to be undertaken thoughtfully and reverently, with gratitude for the past, hope for the future, and great consideration and respect for both the other person and for oneself. Brendan and Liz have asked you all to be here this evening to witness this celebration because each of you have given something of yourselves into their lives. Your friendship, guidance, support, encouragement, and love will forever be appreciated will continue to be an important part of their lives in the years to come. They welcome you here and thank you for sharing this important day with them. Love of another is one of the highest experiences that human beings can have for it can add depth of meaning to our lives. Married love is one of life's greatest joys, and when combined with genuine giving and sharing, the lives of each partner will be infinitely enhanced. The day-to-day -day companionship, the joy of doing things together, or the delight of recounting experiences of things done separately is a continuous and central part of what a man and a woman who love each other can share. These next words are from the book of First Corinthians. Chapter 13. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. Marriage symbolizes the intimate sharing of two lives. It must not diminish, but should enhance the individuality of each partner. We give ourselves in love, but we do not give ourselves away. And we do not destroy our individuality. A good and balanced relationship is one in which neither person is overpowered or absorbed by the other. Deep knowledge of another and a real understanding of the other's feelings is not something that can be achieved in a short period of time can only be developed fully with years of commitment, love, and trust. We are here today, then, to celebrate the love which Brendan and Liz have for each other and to recognize, to witness, their decision to take each other totally and permanently into this bond of marriage these two people now come to be united. Brendan, do you receive this woman as your wife, and do you pledge your loyalty to her in all love and honor in all duty and service, in all faith and tenderness, to live with her and cherish her in the holy body of marriage? Please, do you receive this man as your husband, and do you pledge your loyalty to him in all love and honor, in all duty and service, in all faith and tenderness, to live with him and cherish him in the holy body of marriage? You, the families and friends of the bride and groom, are present today in your love for these two. Their relationship does not exist in a vacuum, but it is part of something larger, woven by family and friends. Liz and Brendan, knowing this, wish to recognize your importance to them. Will all of you, the gathered family and friends of Liz and Brendan, do your utmost to support them in this marriage? If so, answer, we will. We will. I can go on. <laughs> Brendan and Liz, I remind you of the seriousness of your decision to be married. Your love for one another and your constant and continuous commitment to your vows will result in a marriage which is blessed, a peaceful home, and a relationship that will flourish. I ask all of you now to witness with me the expression of deep love that these two people have for one another and the expression of their intent to commit their lives to that end. And you want to look at her. <laughs> 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 okay, I'm Brendan. 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 I'm Brendan
in each other with respect and remind yourselves often of what brought you together. Take responsibility for making the other feel safe and give the highest priority to the tenderness, gentleness, and kindness that your connection deserves. When frustration, difficulty, and fear assail your relationship as they threaten all relationships at one time or another, remember to focus on what is right between you, not only the part that seems wrong. In this way, you can survive the times when clouds drift across the face of the sun in your lives, remembering that just because you've lost sight of it for a moment, it does not mean that the sun has gone away. And if each of you take responsibility for the quality of your life together, it will be marked by abundance and the light. May you always need one another, not to fill an emptiness, but to help each other know your fullness. May you want one another, but not out of whack. May you embrace one another, but not encircle one another. May you succeed in all important ways with each other, and not fail in the little graces. May you have happiness, and may you find it in making one another happy. And finally, may you have love, and may you find it in loving one another. Brendan and Liz have declared to each other, and to these witnesses, and to all of us, their intention to take each other as husband and wife and having pledged unto each other by the authority vested in me pursuant to the laws of the state of New York, I do now declare that they are husband and wife, and you wish your life. <laughs> Bar is open. <laughs> <laughs> 